everyone, welcome to all you Sagittarians. This is a very short video, but in particular about the Mercury retrograde in Cancer. So if you want to have an overview of your monthly horoscope, it's on. Uh, I already made them as well for July. So June and July, the monthly horoscopes are a bit more in general. Uh, and it, a bit more all-inclusive but this one is particular about the Mercury retrograde because I find it a very interesting one a very important one as well this Mercury retrograde is Mercury is a planet of course of uh, communicating understanding where your thoughts are and they are in the sign of cancer so collectively our thoughts will be more on emotions on emotions on family roots uh, nurtured, uh, feeling nurtured, emotional stability, that will be the focus of our minds. Now in particular for you, um, this Mercury retrograde happens in your 8th house, which is a very uh, hidden house. So this is, people will not see where your mind, what, what you're thinking about, you know. That might be a good thing, sometimes not, because you don't have to carry that along with you, all that baggage of information there but um, I mean that the things that you are going to think about are going to be quite deep deep and intense and um, this uh, Mercury retrograde starts on the 17th 18th 19th of June um, and uh, at 14 degrees and then it goes backwards uh, and on the 13th of July it goes forwards again so it's gonna hit the fixed star city is three times on 14 degrees of Cancer. And that's a very positive fixed star because it's about ambition. It's about leadership, owning your truth, so to speak. And it's also about pride. So if you, if you take into account that eight house, uh, which is also the house of fears and the house of strength and, and um, uh, battling your fears, I think for um, on a... Uh, psychological level a lot of Sagittarians are going to think ways how to battle their demons basically and that can be a little demon let's hope so or not too big but there could be some little crisis coming up there or th you will feel it already around the 17th of June I recorded this on the 15th of June so you're probably already sensing uh, if there is a certain problem in your life and uh, if there's certain difficulty that has to do with your own fears, you know, things that you fear, um, have a fear of because you cannot control them. So anything in your life that you cannot control and that causes you a bit of fear there, that could, could be, you know, a, a, bit, um, a bit more than usual around that time of the 17th, 18th of June and onwards. But... The, the main thing is, with this ambitious fixed star there as well, is to, for you to let go of that and for you to deal with that in a healthy way. And therefore, you're going to stand way more in your power than you already did. Not that you're not standing in your power now, no. You're going to become even stronger. Whenever Mercury goes in the 8th house, it's about strength of the mind. And you have an opportunity here to strengthen your mind but first it might be a bit like you know fearful thoughts about something could be connected with the fifth house because the mercury squares up to mars in your fifth house in chiron so the fifth house could be children could be that there is a child involved there that uh, in your life that uh, goes through a phase of uh, um, you know they have to stand up for themselves with mars in, in aries and, and chiron so they're in a, in a in a stage of their life where they have to do do a lot and um, it triggers you you know you want to help them but you have to let go a little bit that kind of energy so it could have to do with a child it could also have to do with a project that you're doing and uh, that that is a bit out of your control there um, so the universe is asking trust here. <laughs> it's, it's simple, isn't it? Just trust and let go. It doesn't mean to say you have to just do this with your hands. No, it just has to say the things that you cannot control. You need to let go of that. And that's going to help you a lot. And that's going to help you a lot mentally as well, whatever you're going through. Um, so th this is an opportunity for a lot of Sagittarians to become mentally stronger than they already are. And um, because it, it's, it's your emotions there. It, it's our family. It could, could have to do with a relative as well, of course. 
Um, the eighth house has to do with transformation. The eighth house has to do with life and death. So there could be items there as well that you think a lot more about life or about death because things are happening in, in, in the family. Now, I don't want to say that every Sagittarian will have, you know, a relative going through a transformational phase. That's not what I'm saying. But these are all topics that might uh, become a bit more important now. But for many, I mean, the, the, on, in general, it is um, like an upgrade that you're getting on a psychological level, for sure. Could be a, an interest that you're having all of a sudden in astrology or in tarot or in, uh, I don't know, hand reading or whatnot. These are also hidden information. There is going to come hidden information to you, for sure. But that will be only a bit more clear when Mercury goes direct again. And that will be around the 13th of July and onwards. So uh, what you're, it's like uh, there are some enigmas there and you're going to find out. It's, it's the Sherlock Holmes house for, for sure, the eighth house, but it will take some time. So, um, but, but on a general level, uh, it, it could also mean on a more financial level, that you're thinking about investments, you're thinking about money that you share with other people like your spouse, for instance, or taxes or investment or inheritances. It could have to do with that as well, that things are not really clear. But then on the 13th of July and onwards, there's more clarity there. Um, and of course, you're going to have eclipses there as well. So there could be um, money coming your way as well. But that there is a bit of delay. Money that you, you didn't have to work for yourself. But there is a bit of a delay because of the retrograde. Having said that, I wish you a very good uh, Mercury retrograde, dear Sagittarians. Fellow Sagittarians, I have my rising sign as well in Sagittarius. So, it's going to be a deep month. Well, deep couple of weeks, for sure. Have it, but make the best out of it. Make the best out of it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.